Hello everyone, Justin here and today I'm going to show you how to draw a very easy cute owl. So let's go ahead and start by drawing its big eyes, two ovals, right next to each other. And let's draw these big irises inside. One way of drawing cute things is to draw the iris really large. And let's go ahead and put a couple of highlights and then put a large pupil in the middle, fairly circular, and just start darkening that. Next, let's draw a couple thick eyebrows. So just a, cert, just a line that's parallel to the upper part of the eye, and then another curve, make it look like a peanut shape. And we will also blacken that. So right here in the middle, will be the beak and we'll just draw a bell shaped curve and it, from the corners then it's going to go towards the middle to a point and that's it for that so next let's draw the shape of the head so from here we're going to go up on either side so it's going above each eye and over. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stylize the edges so that it looks like they're soft feathery. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw these dots just to guide me going down to its cheeks and then go up to the beak. And I'll do the same thing from the other side. So next I'm going to start working on the top of the head. So here's the top of the head, just a slightly curved line. And we're going to extend these lines here that go above the eyes. And curl out like he's got hair and just wisps of hair changing the angle so that then it's pointing down towards the side of the head. So we'll do the same thing here where it's going down initially and then these curves that slowly start going start to point downward and give this part up here some texture and I'm just drawing some more or less parallel lines lines that are following the contour of the head, going up and curving around that top part towards the middle and then separating the lines a little bit more towards the center and I'm going to darken the upper part here and then slowly separate the lines as well so that you have this gradient, this shade and now I'm going to put some dots here as part of the markings of its feathers and straighten out my curve a little bit better here. Now let's look at the face again and what I was talking about here is first let's go ahead and darken this part and maybe add a little bit of shading here and these are just lines that start to separate to show that it's getting lighter. Now here, I'm going to continue here with these short lines that kind of cover the dots that that kind of cover the dots that we had initially put in. And these are just short, straight and sometimes curved lines that go to the top. So initially it's going pointing downward like this and maybe vary the direction as well because this just indicates the 
feathers and that its outline is fairly soft and to add a little bit of shading here I'm gonna switch over to my pen and add some more and just slowly separate them as I get closer to the center of the face but I'm just gonna stay in the periphery just so there's a little bit of a gradient and a little bit of shade and this just gives this more form so now you can tell that this 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 cheek is surrounded and I'll just continue that okay next I'm gonna just add a couple wrinkle lines underneath the eye and I'm just gonna go from below add some curved lines here on the going outward like that next let's draw the body and here I'm gonna do the same thing with dots to show the basic body lines here and here and right here then will be three toes and what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna keep it simple and just draw three oval shapes next to each other and then another set for his other foot right there let's connect them with a couple lines and then draw a zigzag kind of irregular line going out and tapering to a point and let's give this some thickness here and off to the left here progressively getting thicker and let's give this some shading so what I'm going to do here is here's a shadow line where the upper part is going to be light and I'm just going to start cross hatching the bottom part to show that it's going to be darker right there in between the toes and continue it out here so let's go back to this body what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and start darkening the center section first so I'm just doing these different ways you can do you can approach something like this in really different ways I'm just showing another way where I start first by darkening the center with my thick marker and then I'll work on the edges okay back to my finer sharpie and just like here I'm gonna do the same thing just so I can change the outline of this dark section the body and it makes it look, look softer and we're gonna go back to the cheek and same here just so there's a nice soft transition between this black mass that I had initially drawn to the transition to the lighter chest area just really short lines kind of headed towards the center and I'm varying the angle a little bit as well and just like here I'm gonna add a gradient so back to my thinner pen and add more sporadic lines, short lines just so there's a nice gradient from light to dark and a nice gradient from the light feathers of the chest to the dark of the wings and the body so back here again with softening the outline of the body here and I'll just continue this a little bit down here towards its tail area and this is just gonna blend in more or less with that branch that was in the middle and I'll just have this come to a point and we are pretty much done with this owl so thanks a lot for watching I hope you found this useful 
and if so, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you at the next video. Bye, and have a great day.